Your Excellency, at this juncture, may I now have the honor and privilege to very, very reverently invite the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Yusuf Buratai, to formally welcome the special guest of honor, and thereafter, please proceed to make his remarks. The Chief of Army Staff, so please put your hands together for him as he comes forward. The special guest of honor, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, President Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Executive Governor of Borno State, Alaji Kashim Shetima, and representatives of the governors of Adamawa and Yobe states, Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I want to acknowledge the already established protocol by the Master of Ceremony for want of time. I am highly delighted to welcome our special guest of honor, His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari GCFR, President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and all other invited guests to the grand finale of the Nigerian Army Day celebrations 2018. May I, on behalf of the entire Nigerian Army family, most sincerely thank Your Excellency Commander in Chief President Muhammad Buhari for finding time to grace this occasion. The events for this year's Nigerian Army Day celebration began since the 29th of June and is climaxing today here in Monguno. This year's celebration is unique as it is intended to celebrate the Nigerian Army's achievements as well as showcase the Army's transformational tries in innovation research and development, civil military relations and technological advances. Recent developments in our country, in our security environment have necessitated the need for the Nigerian Army to intensify efforts in research and development. The country's contemporary security threats requires readiness by the Nigerian Army in the area of training and equipment to counter them. This is the reason why we have infused the first time, for the first time ever, Nigerian Army humanitarian operations, military equipment display, exhibition, and also a mini trade fair in the week-long celebrations. It is a complete deviation from the traditional parade and show of force. Your Excellency, the theme for this year's celebration is the Nigerian Army and National Security, a panacea for Nigeria's economic development. This theme was carefully chosen in line with Your Excellency's cardinal policies on security, economy, and anti-corruption, as well as to reflect the Nigerian Army's technological strides and contribution to national security and development. The Nigerian Army has keyed into the policy drive of Mr. President and is ever willing to contribute its quota to national security and economic development. I am sure by now we are all aware that the Nigerian Army is currently conducting Operation Last Hold here in Northern Borno. This operation is a unique humanitarian operation as it is aimed at facilitating the return of internally displaced persons from the various camps back to their ancestral homes. 
It is also aimed at providing the much needed security for our farmers to return to their farms during this planting season and beyond. Following the degradation of the Boko Haram insurgents, it is now time for our people to, who were caught in the midst of the fight against the Boko Haram terrorists to return to their ancestral homes. So far, Your Excellency, in Gudumbali district alone, more than 25,000 farmers who were formerly internally displaced persons have returned back home within a period of just one week. More are still returning. Other towns in Borno state that the former internally displaced persons have returned are uh, in Bama, Kukawa, and its environs, where about 22,500 and 10,109 former IDPs, respectively, have returned. Your Excellency, other distinguished invited guests, may I at this point reiterate the resolve of the Nigerian army to consolidate on its successes against the Boko Haram insurgents who are currently on the run. The Nigerian army is committed more than ever before to stabilize the Northeast and to achieve Mr. President's security objectives in other parts of the country as well. This address will not be complete without expressing our deepest appreciation to Mr. President for his support and encouragement to the Nigerian army. We have indeed left no stone unturned in ensuring that the Nigerian army is operationally efficient to carry out its role in line with the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Our appreciation also goes to the governors of the Northeast, Northeastern states, namely Adamawa, Borno, and Yobe states, especially my governor, Governor Kashim Shetima. We appreciate you for all the support you've been providing the Nigerian army here in the Northeast and your state. We also appreciate the members of the National Assembly for their effective oversight function and indeed in moral support. Many of them, as you all see, are here with us. I thank my Honorable Minister of State, uh, my own Minister of Defense, and all other members of the Federal Executive Council for their support the Chief of Defense Staff, other service chiefs, the Chief of Double Staff and the Chief of Air Staff, the Inspector General of Police, the Department of State Services, and indeed all paramilitary organizations for their support and encouragement. I also wish to thank my gallant officers and soldiers who have remained dogged in the discharge of their roles in ensuring this nation is safe. I am fully aware of their many sacrifices, particularly those who paid the ultimate price. On this day, we remember your sacrifices and labor of love. We pray for the souls of the departed to continue to raise in perfect peace. Amen. I will not also forget the resilient and the dogged civilian JTF who have played a very important role in the Northeast. We thank you for your contributions. Finally, let me reaffirm our unalloyed loyalty to Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I reassure Your Excellency that we will continue to remain a professionally responsive Nigerian army in the discharge of our duties. The Nigerian army will continue to remain a political while protecting our democratic ideals. I once again thank Mr. President and other invited guests for finding time to grace this very important and unique occasion today, and indeed share in our joy. Once again, Your Excellency, you are all welcome. I want to most sincerely thank you for this presence which we continue to cherish in the life of this Nigerian army. I want to wish you all joy mercies at the end of this occasion. Thank you and God bless.
Thank you so much. Raised by the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Yusuf Buratai. Please, let's put our hands together once more for him.